All right, so remember when these were just everywhere, swarming oh. the street lights? You saw her reaction there, <laughs> crunching your feet, even on some pizza. Yeah, so we're talking about those grasshoppers. And as one expert tells 8 News Now reporter Brian Will, we all might want to get ready for another infestation. The most common species we have here is called the pallid winged grasshopper, and it's a real desert grasshopper. Things are starting to get buggy in the valley thanks to perfect weather conditions. You've got the wet weather for them, you've got the cooler temperatures, and then when it gets hot like it has recently, then they just fire up and they're everywhere. Professor Alan Gibbs here at UNLV says while those grasshoppers may be pesky, they are completely harmless and he doesn't see conditions brewing that led to that grasshopper invasion here in Las Vegas a few years ago. Bro. Those things happen occasionally, but I'm, I'm really not expecting anything like that. But probably more than, but it'll be an above average grasshopper year would be my prediction. Grasshoppers only live for a few weeks, but once it gets really hot, you won't see many of them. They're just like us. They don't want to be out there in the heat. They don't feed on the heat. But since we've had such a cool spring, they're going to be around for quite some time. Start seeing them now. When it gets really hot, um, they kind of disappear. Uh, you know, you, you don't see much out on really, really hot days. Um, I mean, cicadas are out on really hot days. You can expect to see grasshoppers peak from early June until about October, and they're attracted to light, which makes the brightest city on Earth the perfect spot. Reporting in Las Vegas, Brian Will, 8 News Now.